Do you have so much stuff in your garage that you can't even get your cars in? Well, so did we. So today, I'm gonna to show you some of the solutions that we came up with on the Home Tip Show. Okay, well, let's start up here. Um, I found these on Amazon. It's from a company called Sure. And all it is, is just a, like, a, it's a bike hoist. Uh, if I'm gonna get the bike down, I unravel this, or uh, turn this, lower the bike down, um, take the strap off of it, and, uh, and, and we go. Uh, when I'm done, just hook the, hook the straps back on it and, and put it back up there. The key for this, though, is you have to have uh, a garage that's as tall as this one. Um, this is a, a taller garage than normal because of the design of the house. Um, so I was able to locate both of the bikes over the top of the garage door, uh, which makes it really nice. And they're, they're essentially just, they don't use up any wall space. Um, because the garage is so high, you don't have to duck, you know, to get under them. So uh, that, that, those were a, a huge um, advantage for us. Another uh, thing that we use is uh, this container store system where you uh, buy the bar, you mount it to the wall, and you buy the hooks that you need in order to hang your tools. I also have one on this side. I have this one set lower. This is stuff that we, we get to a little bit more frequently. Um, and this one is set higher for the bigger items like, you know, that I've uh, three or three ladders I normally have hanging there. Um, you know, my, uh, my, my drop cedar for the yard, my weed eater, things of that nature. Um, also have a little, um, some hooks over there that I put all the, the doggy, uh, leashes and, um, collars on. Uh, it's just it's by the door, by the service door, instead of in the house somewhere, it's hung up neatly. Moving on, another thing I done was I did was I bought um, these two hooks, and instead of hanging my big extension ladder um, horizontally, I hang it vertically, um, and it just goes from those hooks all the way down to right there where that shoe uh, um, carousel is. And so that works out really well. I was, it took me a while to figure out how to, how to get that ladder somewhere and then, but this, this works really well. I just have to be strong enough to lift the ladder up there. Um, these are, uh, these containers are, these uh, cabinets are from Ikea. I like them because you can see through them and you know what's in there, right? And um, they need to be adjusted. I haven't just adjusted since I put them in, but you know, you, you don't have to guess everything's there. Uh, if this is just your standard toolbox, um, nothing so special about that. It's the standard um, containers for shoe rack. Um, we keep some sets of shoes out here, the nasty ones. And this is where Nan puts her nursing shoes at night so that she's not bringing anything into the house. Uh, continuing on, um, this, is just, this is just standard Rubbermaid shelving. But what I did was placed it tall enough or high enough that I can walk under it and not gonk my head, uh, which I've done plenty of times uh, on uh, in other houses. All right, it's up out of the way. It allows the you know us to get cars in here and out, and we don't have to contend with the shelving. Um, since we had the high ceiling, I took advantage of that and did uh, two rows. Of, of the shelving. So I put the stuff that we use less frequently up top and um, like paint and you know some of the, the, the garden stuff and my, my, my weed sprayer. And then I put you know the things that, that, that we use more frequently on the, on the lower shelf. And that works out really well. Let's see, what else have we done? Um, oh. Yeah, almost the most, most important thing. This is a laser car positioning system. And if you look, there are two lasers on there. This is designed for two cars. And what you do is you put one person on a ladder 
and they aim it, the other person brings the car in and carefully positions it in the exact position it needs to be so that there's enough room on each side of the car and in front of the car and that's the, the garage door will close and then they mark the spot on their dash where they know that that laser needs to be whenever they pull into um, the, uh, the garage. Um, what it does is it keeps it keeps this car on this side. By the way, this isn't our car. This is a rental. We've had a car accident um, from blocking the refrigerator because sometimes we get too close. And um, also, there is a dent in the front of my um, toolbox. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there. Uh, whenever it was in my old house, somebody decided to put the front of my uh, my BMW into it that somebody will remain nameless. But um, as you can see, it's turned on right now. The laser has an auto sensor in it, so if it detects any type of motion. So if you look, you can see that the laser is hitting the, uh, the dash right there. And that means that, that that spot is the spot that we picked that uh, we knew the car was positioned perfectly. Um, with my vehicle, um, it, when it hits my center console in a certain spot, um, let's see where I go, there it is. Um, when it hits my center console in a certain spot, I know that I'm positioned perfectly. And that means I can, I'm in a position that I can get my car door open without, you know, banging it on the concrete over here, that I'm far enough uh, forward that the back door closes without hitting my car. So, that's really worked out um, wonderful. Um, I, I'd say that the, the bike system and the car positioning system uh, and the two rows of shelving have been the, 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 best, uh, the best tools that I could come up with to, uh, to uh, save space. Um, in addition, we have a lot of stuff in our attic upstairs. I had to make the attics bigger. Uh, they're walk-in addicts and, and I'll cover that in another show. Okay, and finally, the last item that um, I wanted to cover with you all today is our battery-powered lawnmower. As you can see, it folds up, um, looks like it's about, I don't know, maybe 36 inches um, wide, maybe 12 to 18 inches um, uh, from from here to here and, and then the regular size of a, a lawnmower uh, on its width but you cannot do this with a gas powered lawnmower well if you do um, first of all you have gas leaking all over your garage which would be uh, highly undesirable but they really just aren't designed for this type of flexibility um, to, to unfold this and, and have it operational, it's simply uh, about three clicks. I press one button to uh, unfold the, the handle, uh, two more buttons to extend the handle out and then lock those down, pop the battery in it, and uh, press the go button. Um, this has been going on, I guess, the third summer of using it. Um, haven't had to do anything in terms of replacing batteries. Um, I can usually get the yard mode twice out of one charge, believe it or not. We only have, uh, we, I think, uh, between a quarter and a half acre, uh, so it's not a big yard. But it's, it's still enough that, you know, I, I questioned whether this would be able to do it. Uh, the other thing that it has is a sensor in it, so if you are mowing tall, wet grass, if you forgot to mow for you know maybe a few extra days and and he um, put you in a situation where you think oh only gas only gas is going to get me through that forget it um, this is more powerful than any gas motor uh, powered lawnmower that I've ever had it has a sensor in it it detects when it starts to bog down and will um, will we'll pull extra juice from the battery and spin that blade up um, incredibly fast. Uh, I have bogged it down before, yes, um, but it's not nearly as frequently as I would if it would have been a gas-powered lawnmower. Uh, the other advantage is um, the, the chargers um, are on the wall, up out of the way, so, you know, just 
throw the battery on it. And when you're done, pop it off. The chargers go back to sleep. Um, and when you are done using the lawnmower, it's everything in reverse. Pull the battery out, charge it. Uh, two or three buttons and knobs to push and it's folded back up, you know, into its little suitcase sized um, setting here. So by far, uh, the one of the, uh, it's almost, I would say, as important as the laser positioning system um, and the, the, uh, the uh, bike hoist system, uh, this, this battery operated lawnmower that folds up like a suitcase. Oh, before I forget, if you liked this video, please subscribe and like um, within the app. The more subscriptions and the more likes I have, uh, the, the more incentive I have to continue to try to create content that people will enjoy. So thank you for your time. Thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.